I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for July Capricorn. Okay, I'm going to get straight in. Have a look at your personal life. Now, you have a new moon in your love zone right opposite you there in your seventh house. So it's all about love and it's all about relationships. If you're in a relationship, Capricorn, this is a good time for you to reassess, fine tune, add some spice to your relationship. If you're single, then there's a number of influences that are going to send love your way this month. So let's not forget, like the the new moon is is like that's the your annual new moon uh, over there in your, in the seventh house, all to do with relationships. It's the beginning of a whole new phase of relationships for you for the next twelve months. So it's like, uh, you know, if you're looking for love, you really this is a month that you could actually meet the one um, or close to the one or someone who's certainly suitable to be the one okay but you do have to get out and about to do it so you know don't say I'm a Capricorn as most of you know and we just love to sit at our desk and work long hours so you know if you want love in your life then you're going to have to have some balance in your life okay uh, of course, I'm speaking to myself here as well, so, you know. Now, um, passionate Mars is going to transit to your seventh house on the 14th. So for the last two weeks of the month, you've got that real Mars energy there that can just connect you to someone that you have like an immediate um, connection with and with for Capricorns quite often it could happen like that it's like you walk around the corner and you bump into someone and it's like a, an electric connection so for the last couple of months there with Mars in this area then certainly that can happen now Mars is going to join the Sun and Mercury of course the Sun is there because it's a new moon and Mercury communication planet and the planet of abundance and expansion a beneficiary planet Jupiter so get ready to be romance but don't forget that Mercury is retrograde pretty well all of this month is not going to come out of its retrograde transit until later in the month around the 24th so um, and it's always a couple of days either side uh, which can be the most disruptive. So be careful of, you know, what you say, how you say it. Once you say something, it's out there, okay? Now, and when we look at your professional life, um, the new moon in your area of relationships is going to help with the relationships of work as well. And with Jupiter there, that's going to bring people to you. You can literally, you know, be in the right spot at the right time to connect with influential people. Now, there's a connection between Venus and Jupiter right at the end of the month as well on the 28th. And that's like a positive omen to um, bring things through. Life can literally start to turn around for the better. I certainly hope so because I get a lot of Capricorns writing to me saying, when are things going to get better? So let's hope it's this month for all of us, okay? Now, my angel advice for you is there's a full moon right on the cusp of your sign and Aquarius on the 22nd. So if you feel a little bit sort of unsettled or that saying which says, you know, you're uncomfortable in your own skin, then give it a couple of days. Try not to make any rash decisions. Um, see what happens, although it can be the catalyst that helps you make some overdue you know, decisions in your life, particularly around money. Now, your lucky numbers are 8, 14, 22, and 23. I've left a couple of spaces there, Capricorn, for you to put your own numbers in. Have a great month. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.